Hey guys, it's Nanania and welcome to level five of Nanania's Nightmares, my five sculling orcs must die to walk through. Now, big valleys is a big bitch. Make sure you take barricades, reinforce barricades, which take reduced damage. We're gonna set up in the middle row and the middle lane. And what we're gonna do at start is barricade off the left and the right. We're also gonna put one barricade in the middle, right here in front of this other one. Set up our grinder to start and a spike trap in front of it. Come out and play. I'm gonna rush the rifts because I was worried about par time, but it shouldn't be an issue at all. I did some other trials with this with steam traps instead of spike traps. And the problem was the steam traps would push the monsters above where the minecarts are at. And then they would get stuck. So at the end of every wave, I would have to wait 15 to 45 seconds for the orcs to unstick. And my par time was like three seconds over, but I decided, all right, I'm gonna go back, try spike traps with the slow instead well and see how that works. So you don't have to rush the rift. Wave two, you get three sappers at the very start. Try and kill them if you can, and then head back to your kill box. We're gonna put a spike trap in front of the grinder as well. Scorcher pot. behind. Sprayers on the sides. Here comes a scorcher. There it is. We're gonna put another grinder above that scorcher. Sprayers across the other wall. And then lots of other scorchers. Now here I almost died due to the crossbow guys, so make sure you're being very, very careful with them. We've got an old grenadier coming as well. I thought he was going to kill me, but I end up uh, kiting him well. Luck, I guess. You can dodge the grenades pretty easily. Just got to be on your game. You can hear the skull drop. Go get it. Kill that archer. So, for traps. Lightning ring of chill. Gotta have it. Necessity. A spike trap with... Slow. Go in, if you're a war mage, please, please, please take tar traps instead. We've got scorchers with burn longer. We've got sprayers with slow. Grinders with bleed. Dwarves with bleed. Archers with fire arrows, barricades, and then the trap reset. I actually forget to use the trap reset ability, but if you take it, please use it. Many dead, all at now, I put that dwarf in a really bad place, and I'm gonna sell him after this wave is over and replace him, but... You can see kind of the idea of this kill box. We want as much damage as we can get, as soon as we can get it. But we also want to have combo That's points, all. so we don't want to stack tons and tons of scorches. What the hell is this? Here's another spike trap at the start. Now this barricade right here is a decoy, it's a dummy barricade. What's out gonna happen is, every time a sapper fire. comes out, they try and rush the closest thing, right? So, be it a guardian or a barricade or yourself, since that barricade is the closest, all the sappers are gonna rush that. So you can control what the sappers are gonna do. It's very good get. knowledge. Line up for me, please. Here I'm going to set up some dwarves. Keep that lightning right about there. You can just hug that barricade in the middle and drop your lightning and it'll hit everything in the kill box. It's a nice little, I don't know, setup point. So many traps and so many victims. It's on the tip of my tongue what I wanted to say. I hate that. You can see these rock guys are just getting demolished. Lots of fire, bombs and arrows everywhere. It's a really good kill box. And the other thing it's great for is gnolls. When those come out, I'll show you exactly how to deal with them. I need no rest. Okay, we're gonna put another scorcher here, facing that way. Fill up the sprayers, because they will get through this kill box. 
There's a lot of heavy enemies in the later rounds, and they will get through, so. I also put these spike traps at the start for the same reason. There's a lot of heavy enemies. Probably don't need them, but 600 off the score for insurance, not that big of a deal. I'm gonna end up putting three more Scorchers. One more on the wall behind the current Scorcher. One right next to the barricade, and then one right next to that where I'm currently standing. So pretty dead and then that's the it for the kill box. Maybe one more dwarf. The, the money you get in this level is so high, though, that I'm gonna end up with like 12,000 coins. So that's just free points. I there's a seven times combo, so you can tell that, you know, I'm getting a lot of threes, but sometimes I get the fives and sixes. If I could get a few more higher combos, I, I'm sure I could be number one again. But Wardrake, my good friend Wardrake, stole it from me. Setting up another dummy barricade. 600. Again, insurance. We want to make sure those sappers stay far away from our kill box. You don't want sappers blowing up your, your corridor in the middle of a fight. It probably wouldn't be such a big deal with this current kill box, but since we want everything on that left wall with the grinders and the scorchers, you'd be surprised how much damage you actually use use lose how much damage you actually lose again 3 a.m sorry Someone lost their head. two skulls in a row that's three skulls total for this level fantastic really lucky i don't think i've ever seen that happen honestly other than endless one more thing to remember is the barricades inside of your kill box may actually die, especially if you're charming, so be ready to replace those. You'll always have at least 1,200 coins so you can replace two barricades if you need to. I really like this setup because after wave two, you don't really have to deal with the sappers because they blow up most of the barricades near the rifts or near the starting point for the orcs. I don't know, it just looks like a rift that they're coming out of. I guess it is a rift, right? Because they're using the rift to get back to this world. Yeah, so I'm right. So many dead Jeez. Barricade's looking pretty bad. Here come some gnolls. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Stand next to this edge and just let them fry. Collect your coins. Grinders work especially well on heavy enemies now in this game. They're, you know, unjammed and moving. Otherwise, they're not doing anything, but I found them to be really, really good against heavy enemies. Final wave, lots of heavies incoming. Armored ogres, earth lords. Just make sure you keep up that lightning because that's your main slowing. That's your only real slowing. I mean, the tar trap, or not tar traps, spike traps, they're not gonna do it all for you. You gotta have that slow. Now, if you're a war mage, you should still take lightning ring with the chill because, you know, the start of the kill box is gonna have the tar, but after that, you gotta rely on the lightning ring. And the 
Another dummy deploy barricade, whatever you want to call it. More noise, keep to your side. Line of sight on. Almost done. Now we lost the barricade right there. But instead of putting that down, this is the last enemy, so I thought, screw it, I'm just gonna kite him around a little bit, save the money, get the extra score, and there we go. Five skulls. Good score. 275, 354, nine bonus skulls, thanks to those three dropping. Check out the stats. You can see I had a ton of extra money, which is good. It's very good. Now, like I said, Wardrake destroyed me on this map. He destroyed everyone on this map. So I got second, but I'm very happy with that. It's a great strat, I think, and it can be used in many, many ways in other maps as well. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to continue on to the next map, which is Hidden Gulch. So I will see you guys there. If you need help, I'm here for you. See you next time, guys.